Hey! Were you by any chance about to leave a comment for me telling me to react to the new Taylor Swift album or maybe the new 1975 album? I thought so. I had a small little inkling. Those videos are definitely gonna be on the way. I am still kind of recovering a little bit from my surgery that I had last week. If you wanna know more about that, I made a second channel video about it. But today I thought it'd be kind of fun to just cringe a little bit with our boy Charlie. Cringy Charlie. So we filmed this video a few days before surgery on stream, so hopefully this holds y'all over a little bit until the new album videos drop. Hope you all enjoy, and before we get into it, gotta give a shout out to our sponsor for today's video, Raid Shadow Legends. Roll the clip, baby. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Raid is a leading mobile and PC game with hundreds of artifacts and over 600 champions with unique skills. Over the last three years, they've been up to some super dope things. They just introduced the Doom Tower, which has over 120 levels. Introduced an entire new world of new and terrifying bosses to slay. As a high-level collection RPG, Raid started with hundreds of unique characters and bosses, but that never stopped them from adding more and more new champions. Last year, they added an entire new faction, the Shadowkin. They're a tribe of warriors from the Far East recently liberated from the Reign of Evil. And of course, the Hydra Clan boss. With multiple heads, without a doubt, the biggest and baddest boss to set foot in Teleria. And right now, Raid is running an amazing trick-or-treat promotion for Halloween, where you can win a bunch of real-life and in-game prizes, including an $1,000 Amazon gift card and some of the best epic and legendary Halloween champions in Raid. And it's all free. All you need is your Raid player ID. Just download Raid with my link in the description, then head to trickortreat.polarium.com to make it even easier. From there, enter your details, spin the wheel, and get your prize. This special event runs from October 15th to November 5th, and it's only for new players, so don't forget to jump in. You can also use the DK Rises promo code for a bunch of free items to instantly level up any of your strongest champions to level 50. If you haven't started playing Raid yet, now is a great time. You can click the link in my description or scan the promo code here on the screen and then you'll get even more bonuses worth up to $30. We're talking the free champion Tayrell, 200k silver, an energy refill, XP boost, and an ancient shard. All this treasure will be waiting for you here on Raid Shadow Legends. Now let's get into the video. Oh. Oh. Ladies and gentle bitches, <laughs> welcome back to the channel. H.T. Hayes. My name is Troy. Today, folks, we're going to be getting into the brand new album from Charlie Puth, entitled Charlie, self-titled in all caps. Maybe, maybe he's doing it for me. I don't, I cannot confirm. I cannot deny. But what I can confirm is that I have not been feeling these first singles. Oh my God. I got to be real. Have not been my favorite. Don't like the light switch song. Don't like the panning from ear to ear song. I don't want to come off as like a hater. I'm not a hater. I will not lie. I am scared though. Truly. Just because I feel like the last singles have kind of been like a gimmick. The left and right song with Jungkook. It's just panning. It doesn't really give me anything. Also with like light switch, it was cool for like a week. And the fact that we had to hear it for like six months or what feels like a six months to like a year, it just grew into this horrible, awful, like ugh, deity inside me that just stabs me. And just, I just, I don't like the song, okay? When you use cool effects that have to do with lyrics, literally in this one wildlife song, it's called All My Friends, and it has this little, like, kind of, like, gimmicky little moment, and, like, you'll hear it, right? When you saw me all up on your dark jeans Bars. Should've known it was a game you were starting Check out the Mario wildlife. Karting. Mario Karting, right? And he has the little, the little Mario Kart sound effect. It's tight. It's just a little moment you, you have in there, right? It's cool when it happens, like, once. You want to know how many f light switch sound effects are in a light switch? You turn me on like Dead? Anyways, with all that being said, like and subscribe. <laughs> if you want this uh this realness coming at you. 33 minutes and two seconds long, 12 songs. Super short. I'm glad he's not overcompensating, but this also apparently took him four years. The last release was in 2018. That's a really long time. See, I'm just I'm just a little skeptical as to like 
Why did it take so long? And I f feel like all of these songs are gonna be like quantized perfectly. Like, I hope there's a little bit of soul in here. Let's just get into it though. That's hilarious. Please make me giggle. <laughs> I like that laugh. <laughs> Girl, you're only making. Girl, you're only making it worse when you call like you always do when you want someone. So, sounds so robotic. It's just so staccato. You didn't love when you had me, but now you need me so badly. You can't be serious. That's hilarious. Thinking I would still want you after the things you put me through. Yeah, you're delirious. That's hilarious. Okay, you, 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 clearly you got me vibing a little bit, bro. I'm gonna vibe a little bit, dude, okay? He knows how to make a good pop song. Like, it's not me saying that it's good, okay? It's just, I'm just saying that it is kind of cool how he did kind of like work in the little melodies with the ha-ha-has in the back. Again, it's a, a little gimmicky, but at least it's got like a cool melody to it. It's also just like so perfectly over-processed, like the vocals. I wanna hear some, some like, some actual like, substance in the lyrics, just a little bit. I just wanna have a little, a little bit more. Next song is Charlie Be Quiet. And again, I have heard this one, but it kind of plays off of another little gimmicky thing in the title, which is the quiet part of it. And he kind of has these like moments in here where he's like, ASMR. The rhythm in it is, it is fun, but let's just, let's just go. I'm not making the same mistake. Won't be putting my heart on display. I'll just water my feelings down. Stronger, baby. What am I gonna do now? I know what he's trying to do with the whole distortion thing coming in, but there's no lead up to it. It just kind of feels like that was the next you know, little instrument he needed to put in there to change change up the beat just that little bit to bring it all back down to the To me, it's just gimmicky, man. It's just like, there's, there's, there's no transition, there's no like fun little pieces, and this like melody is just getting really like earwormily bad. Like, not a good one. All right, that's actually fucking fire. Woo! Wow, okay, hold up. Okay, well, you know, there's moments. The second verse, I, I production, I really do like. Like that little hi-hat. And that fuzzy little bass coming in. Feels like there's a little band there, right? Another thing that is super just nitpicky producer of me, but I know that that distorted guitar sound is not a real guitar. It, I just, I, I, cause I know it's not. It's too perfect. The chokes are too good. It's just too perfect. But yeah, you know, he does know how to kind of get the pop ability. He kind of does get the pop ability when you take into consideration, like, what Charlie can really do, it's kind of just like he's, I don't know, he's like dumbing it down. And I just feel like maybe I'm trying to be a hater too much. Maybe I should just embrace the pooth. I should just embrace the pooth. Let's do it. Fuck it. Next one, light switch. God damn. Every single, all the singles, just all the singles in the front. Embrace the pooth. I'm embracing. Let's get it, brother. I like the little... Quacky. It's super quacky. Yeah. Why you calling at 11:30 when you only want to do me dirty? But I hit right back cuz you got that that yeah. What is that that? What is that that Charlie? You having a stroke? Are you having a stroke Charlie? No, nah, he's having a stroke. Why you always want to act like lovers but you never want to be each other? I don't look back, but I go back, back again. All of a sudden, I'm hypnotized. You're the one that I can't deny. Every time that I say I'm gonna walk away, you turn me on like a light switch. When you're moving your body around and around, now I don't wanna fight this. So you know how to just make me want you to turn me on like a light switch. When you're moving That's two. Your body Why? 
Ooh, Ooh slower. What? Was that ad lib point zero 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 six nine <laughs> seconds after you said switch switch truly necessary Charlie was that little you just had to get that one in there huh come on, come on, come on, come on, come on okay I like that harmony you know how to just make me want to Ooh. Ooh, a little okay. And then one right at the end. How many? How many was it? He got he's got some good tempos, all right? I will acknowledge everything. Everything except actual talent. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You I mean we know he's talented. But you'll catch me dead before I say that I like the light switch song. I like the electricity panel song. Moving right along. There's a first time for everything. Only 16,000 plays on this one. Interesting. The first album only song that we have heard so far. Let's get it. Ooh, 80 cents. Oh, I'm on Space Mountain. I don't like how that's so pulled out. It just felt like he had this lyric and he was just trying, just really, really trying to make it work. Dying to miss you, dying to kiss you. Come on, dig a little deeper than that, my friend. All right, Charles, Charles, Xavier. Oh, fuck. Happened later that night. The the resolve, like the whole trajectory of the melody is, is so nursery rhymey. Saw her on the TV, had the bleached pink hair with the ripped jeans. And I thought, what if I could meet her in real life? Yeah, I found out that we shared friends. So she came to the house on the weekend and what I had in my head happened later that night. So let me just, let me just piece this one together. So basically, Charlie is just, I guess, flexing that he just is so famous that he saw a girl on TV that he thought was cute and he realized that he most likely has a connection to this girl through some kind of one of his friends. So he found her and kind of internet stalked her and everything he did in his head, it happened, that's right. Imagination to the bedroom. This is gross. Watch it. He's getting a, a little, a little sus, a little sus. You never thought you would like have feelings for a girl? Charlie, Charlie. That's like bottom of the of the pop garbage bin. I never thought I would actually miss you. I'd never thought I'd be dying to kiss you. Thinking how you really messed up my heartbeat. I was checking to see if this song was messing with my heartbeat. I don't know, I might have been dropping it to the fucking floor. Never thought that I'd be crying about somebody. Maybe there's a first time for everything. Charlie, oh man. Late up, late night, we were trying our best to pretend like the when the party yeah, that drum beat is sick, though. Whoo! <laughs> All right, barely made it out of that one, Charlie. Barely made it out. On Thin Ice. The next one is another single. You know, maybe a good one. This one's called Smells Like Me. I don't, I don't know what that's on about. But I forgot to talk about the cover art. So we need to talk about the cover art a little bit. It looks like that fucking Justin Bieber cover art of when he was like collaborating with Jack Yu. Tell me that these little doodles up here do not look exactly like Adam Levine's tattoos. Come on. That is a Chipotle bag. You cannot lie. 
Look at this. Adam Levine tattoo looking ass cover art. I mean, hey, you know what? It's simplistic. It's, it's, you know, all white. That's so boring. Something like an idea he made up in like the last like three weeks of his album being out. It's like, Charlie, did you have the cover art ready? And it's like, ah, oh, shit. You know what this, the, all these songs are? These are just like songs that I just wanted to doodle. These are just doodle songs. Here, here, I'll just, uh, I'll just diddle them out, dude. I'm just, I'm just gonna doodle her. Moving back into the tunes, aren't we glad that we're gonna dive into this one? Smells like me. What do you smell like? What do you smell like, Charlie? You smell like fear. This is literally just a 1975 track. Me praying that this song is fucking good. Okay. The pre is not bad. It's pretty, you know, and it's definitely got that kind of like upbeat 1975 tempo. Lonely when you're in his arms. Yeah, you know I prayed for that. Prayed for that. Opening line is fucking toxic, dude. If she's gone and y'all are broken up, why are you wasting time praying for something like her feeling bad? Like, that's just, I don't know. I can't get with that. That's just kind of whack. I would, I don't know. Your laundry dipped in my cologne. Cause you know, it takes you back, takes you back. Yeah, that's, oh, wow. Already off to just such a, such a bad start. Pre-chorus goes, tell me, do you ever miss me when I'm gone? Wondering what body I'll be on. Ah, uh, you're wondering if she thinks about other girls you're fucking? No. I hope you are sad and desperate and fucked up and crying. And I hope that everything that you do in your day reminds me of the mistake you made of, of leaving me. I'd rather be turned on by the light switch song. T let's talk about the penis song again. That's better. I like that one more. What do you smell like, Charlie? What are you rocking? Aqua de Gio? Hmm? Maybe a little bit of a uh, renaissance? Are you sleeping in my t-shirt again? How's it feel when you press it, press it? Up against your like. skin while you breathe it in. I know that you remember, remember. I hope the memory's killing you over there. Don't even front, you know that you just can't compare what it used to be. I hope your jacket smells like me. I'm really surprised he didn't put a sound effect when he said smell because he'll do it he will f do that i bet he had to like stop himself oh my god i have i have the perfect sniff sound effect i have the perfect one. Oh my god i could be perfect guys and like charlie don't f do it <laughs> it's like an interrogation charlie don't make the same mistake you did with sound of the sound of don't you don't you press that sniffer you son of a bitch Charlie Booth, I will blow your fucking brains off. Are you sleeping in my t-shirt again? How it feels when you press against it up your up against your skin? I can't. I'm gagging, dude. And not not in the good way. Not, not in like the LGBTQ way. Like definitely not like actually choking on these suspect lyrics. I've never wanted COVID to take my sense of smell more than after hearing that song. Thank God. Thank God. Every single lord and majestic deity in the sky, Jungkook of fucking BTS is on this next song. Holy shit. The only redeeming quality that I know for a fact that's on this album is Jungkook. Where can you hear me? I can feel you over here. You take up every corner of my mind. What you gonna do now? I'm gonna lobotomize myself, Charlie. Thank you for asking. Yeah, 
Now he did kind of pop off on these melodies though. I'm gonna give him that. And it's something you can kind of like, you can kind of do your shoulders to. You take up every corner of my mind. Come on, junk. Ever since the, the day you went away. Oh, he's just sliding all over it. It's so steezy. He's just gliding over it. It's not like, got me stuck up in my circle, round my head. Jungkook's like, memories follow me left and right. He's, he's kind of just fucking killing it, okay? I don't even want to explain myself deeper than that. It's Jungkook. Fuck. Oh, and I do like this. I, this is nice. Ooh, a little chord changes. See, I like when he's flexing his little, his little, come on. Oh, and I like the little minor four too. Oh, Jungkook in my right ear. Take up every corner of my mind. What you gonna do now? Yeah, dude, he knows how to make a pop song, okay? He's pretty good at it, and I just love Jungkook, bro. Honestly, he really is just like the cherry on top of that song. But man, finally, the real album. Other than I don't think that I like her, but I haven't heard that one. So it, this is still all brand new album territory. The first song is Loser. Prove this song wrong, Charlie. I know you're not a loser. I know you're gonna be a winner. I wanna. I want all of us to be winners. I truly do. At the end of the day, I'll meet up smithereens, brother. Let's go. Ooh. Yeah, five, dude. It's already so much better. Ooh, ooh. I like that kind of seventies. Taking out those backing instruments, just leaving that bass and kick. Okay, that's pretty fun. I'm gonna give you that one. At least it's like a little bit more mature of like a take on the breakup song. At least he's kind of like realizing like, how could I lose this girl? Man, I am kind of a loser. We've all felt like that. He's not a loser. You're not a loser, Charlie. But I know we all can relate to feeling like a loser. We can't all relate to wishing that our exes were miserable with their current relationship. That's not healthy. That's the, that's the difference though. Fire. Every single song feels like they wrap up in the exact same predictable way. I'm just waiting for that, you know, three song run where it's like, oh, he's doing something diffy. It's hitting diffy, Charlie. And so far, it's kind of just been all of the exact same thing. 80s, 70s, fast tempos, poppy drums, lyrics that get by that don't really say too much. And just like Charlie whining that he's single again. <laughs> The next song is called When You're Sad, I'm Sad. Are we going to get sad? Are we going to get emotional? I, I hope. Let's let's try to see if we can harness a, a little bit of something. So I never get to give my love to someone Ooh. who actually deserves it all. Cause I turn Ooh, I like the melodies. Ooh. So I take you back cause when you're sad, I'm sad. Oh. Baby, don't do that. When you're sad, I'm sad. It's the empath's anthem. Yeah. Okay. This is good. Give my love to someone who actually deserves it all. Cause I 
I love when he mimics his voice with a piano. It's such a musician thing to do. Okay, Charlie! The falsetto! Oh my god! Thank you, Charles. Beautiful song. Can we get some fucking snaps in the chat, dude? That was an actually beautiful song that had no gimmicks. It was written from the heart with a beautiful melody and beautiful prog progression and, and production. He kept it simple, but in the way of still having that beautifully played artistic piano. And I love the decision to keep the chorus as kind of like a drop chorus and just keeping it two lines as just like a small little breakup moment that you don't need to like linger on too much. It's almost kind of like anti poppy. It's almost just like straight up singer songwriter with some like really beautiful melodies on top of it. I just really like it. That's t 10 pooth set of pooth. That 10 pooth set of 10 pooths. I wouldn't necessarily go as far as to say that he's popped his poothy quite yet. You know, if this was like Mozart time, then like, yeah, for sure. He, if he heard this, he would have been like, oh my God, this is like the most beautiful, incredible thing ever. Or was he the deaf one? I forget. Moving right along into the next song. Uh, Marks on my neck. Marks. The vampire Marks. Has a man in a dark alley approached you with a mask? Is his name Dio? Okay. Okay, wait a minute. Horny Pooth is back. He's here. Ooh, this acoustic building. Let's go. What'd you see? Ooh, and the and the track fades away. Ending it on that falsetto. Oh, okay, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll change it. I'll change it. Look at what you've made me do, Charlie. Damn, Charlie. Now that is a poofy that might has have been popped. I just love the way it starts and the energy that kind of just rides through it all the way through. Really, really fun and quite horny. When it comes to my favorite kind of songs, it's gotta be the horny bops, dude. It has to be the horny bops. Just embrace it. Embrace the horny. Embrace the horn dog. I really do like this one. Definitely going into the Green Heart Club. The next tune though is entitled, kind of similar to Marks on My Neck, Tears on My Piano. I'm sick and tired of singing the wrong words that you don't wanna hear. Ooh. Try to play these chords that we dance to before you disappear. Oh, mm -hmm. like a river they fall. Tell me why every song. It's kind of an interesting progression with the chords and the melody is not really. It just feels like it's hitting the same kind of like motions as like all the other ones in like the singles on, you know, on the album. Right before that chorus drops, you get that sh -ka -ka boom, you know, some kind of fill into the chorus. It just feels like it's happened six times before in this album. So I don't know. It's just, it just feels like it's kind of getting a little old. Also, Tears on My Piano could also be a JoJo's reference with Weather Report. So insert JoJo's reference here, Mr. Chris, editor. Charlie really sat his literal poothy 
on the piano seat and made this. <laughs> oh my God. Stop being funnier than me on my stream. Next one. The last single that's been dropped before the album has been released. I don't think that I like her. Oh. After all this, you're telling me you've come to the realization that you just don't like her. All right, Charles. For me, the stars are aligning, but for her, it's bad timing. I mean, so she just can't be mine. I don't Ooh. think that I like her anymore. Cause we're all the same. All they wanna do is break my heart. My heart. I don't think mm. that I like her anymore. Cause we're all the same. They just wanna see me fall. Yeah, girls are all the same. It's giving fourth grade playground. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, I I really like the way this song kind of starts off, but once he kind of gets into the lyrics, I, I kind of am zoning out. I'm blacking out a little bit. For me, the stars are aligning, but for her, it's bad timing. So she just can't be mine. Then we hit that chorus. I don't think that I like her anymore. Girls are all the same. Oh. All they want to do is break my heart. I don't think I like her anymore. All girls are the same. They just want to see me fall apart. Why does it like slowly devolve into like Andrew Tateism? All women are the same. They just want to hurt me. I don't even like her. I never liked her. She means nothing to me. It's like, uh, you kind of lost me on that one, Poothy. Salty, salty Poothy. <laughs> Yeah, that is fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, a little... A little vocoder in the back, too. A little vocoder action in the back. I do like that. And these drum fills coming out of nowhere. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. No, I, I really like those drums. They feel real. They feel actually played. I wonder... Oh, would you look at that? Mr. Travis Barker. I should not be surprised, in the slightest. I really shouldn't. Moving into the last tune on the record, no more drama. He doesn't want any more drama, guys. No more, no, no. Uh-uh. walking through a field of daisies a little bit in the first verse he says it took a year before i recognized so he was in a relationship with this year i for a year i guess oh no after it took him a year to realize after that he was so down bad and that now he finally needs to heal okay solid solid i do slightly kind of feel like uh when he was promoting this i saw him kind of say that like this was like a very deep like emotional journey that he went through with this like worst relationship he's ever had in his entire life and to kind of have these like little cookie cutter lyrics attached to this like really traumatic thing that's apparently happened in his life it just kind of doesn't make me feel like it like is too serious so doesn't allow me to hold the song with like too much gravity feels like he's just trying to make light of the bad situation that's you know happened some nights you were baby some nights it was crazy no I'll never go you were ba some nights you were baby oh why does that make me feel so kind of is that the ick is that what the kids are talking about the ick some nights you were baby god you're so baby right now i just can't imagine like telling my wife that in like person you're so baby oh you're so baby ah uh, ah uh, uh, maybe maybe move on oh oh sample all right well 
Was it as horrible as I thought it was going to be? No, lots of high energy. Definitely something that I can see myself kind of like bop into a little bit if I just don't think too hard, if I want to turn the old brain off. The singles? No, I'm chucking those out the fucking window, burning them in a fire. Adios, see you later, goodbye. But, you know, there was like one or two. Marks on my neck, really fun. When you're sad, I'm sad, a beautifully written piano song. That's about it. And then like maybe because of Jungkook, I would maybe say left and right, but like only like half of left and right. And like really, I don't really want to put it at all because I can't have the feature make the song. He was trying to build up so much hype with this through TikTok and everything. And he delivered, and I hate to say it, but kind of mid. He could have had two or three more features on here. I probably would have enjoyed them. He could have, you know, cherry picked some really good artists to have on here. Maybe even some TikTok artists that are trying to blow up. Wow, wouldn't that be super cool charlie pooth who utilizes tiktok like a hole that he shoves his music ideas into to actually take one of those verse challenges that he did and highlight an actual artist from tiktok on his new album he could have literally added a feature to every single one of these tracks i would love that imagine the publicity he would get for that by platforming these individuals on this new on this new social media make it the deluxe and pay me for the idea but like make it the deluxe charlie like would that not be so tight yeah a little bit of a bummer but that's gonna be just about it thanks for tuning in appreciate you go ahead and like and subscribe check out that patreon if you want to keep the show going there's two videos on the screen right now but as always stay happy healthy and strong and i'll see you in the next one peace